Well, the purpose of BSU is to unite black students on campus and really give everybody their space to strengthen their identity and be able to be around people that are like themselves and even coming from different backgrounds just so that we can get a different perspective of what it means to be black at Sac State. The BSU allows me to come speak with like-minded individuals, to share my own skills, my own values with other people, and to help other people meet other people. So, I mean, I would say I kind of have like the personality for it and kind of like a bridger, I would say, that is within my purpose, that's within my own alignment. We are a space where people get to have discussions that a lot of people don't get to have with other people because it's hard to talk about. So the current relationships and um, events and situations happening in the black community. Coming to Sac State, I just already knew that I was going to need a community support to go through my college journey. So the first thing that I looked for when I came to Sac State was the BSU. For us to not speak about the you know, the cultural or social political climate that's occurring right now is to be ignorant, to be complacent. It's still gonna affect us in some capacity. We're not just black Americans, we're not just in America. We also have Nigerian students who are in our organization. We also have all types of different students from within the diaspora and they have families that are impacted by this. So for us to not talk about it would be saying to them that we don't care, that we are just gonna skip over this because we're in our own little bubble and that's just not the case. Our community has been torn. Dr. Wade Nobles talk about a shattered consciousness. That really just ties into how the black community is, the state that we're in right now. We're in the process of repairing that. And I definitely feel like with the knowledge that I have, the people that I am under, like underneath their mentorship, underneath their guidance, I can help other people repair that within themselves and helping their identity become whole. We're trying to get more activities going. It was kind of stagnant during the pandemic, so we had to put a lot on pause as well as like our ongoing events. We're realizing that students are still in that lockdown mode and kind of not really seeing what's available to them. So we're trying to, you know, get our events back up and running so that people are just aware. We're not just a regular social, cultural organization. We're not. Uh, we're definitely, it feels like we're an institute, really, because we are the ones that are helping with retention rates. The biggest part is being a servant leader, and BSU definitely shows you that you have to be a servant leader because you, there's a saying, like you have to love black people more than they love themselves. And I just heard that recently and I really took that in and that's how I really show servant leadership. BSU members right now are focused on a call to action of themselves and to the campus. There are needs and I would say wants to that need to be met. Being that we are such a diverse campus, there is a lot of people in every uh, ethnic group. There's a certain amount of responsibility that a campus and the community takes when we do, even if it was just one person, that one person still needs to be served as a black student, especially a lot of us are first generations. One, how can we leverage the skills and the experiences that other black students have had in the community and how we could use that to uplift each other? And then two, how to um, make sure that the campus is uh, serving our needs. And that looks like us listing out what we do need and share with them. I would say we're focused on demands right now. We don't have that space to be silent because even being silent is sending a message that you are, that you don't care, that you are not using your voice to help others. And we simply can't do that. Like you go to college and I will hope for everybody that they're, I feel like my purpose is to use my own skills, my own opportunities, my own privilege to help my own community, and I'm in college to do that now. Really, we just want to invite as many people as possible to come be a part of something like this, uh, just to uh, 
provide some more insight to what other students' problems uh, around campus may be. Every time that uh, more students are, black students are admitted into Sac State, we're going to continue to educate and advocate for them, no matter what, because things aren't being taught to them in whatever space that they came from. We just don't know what experience they had. So BSU serves to educate and advocate.